What's up guys, uh, Prince of Mastodon here, and I, I finally watched Avatar 2, The Way of the Water. I watch it in theaters. Um, I watch it in a really crappy theater, like out out in the country where the, the audio was horrendous. Like, you could barely hear what they were saying, but you can hear the theaters next to us making all this noise, but the audio was way off, but I was still able to enjoy um, this movie. Um, so that said, I did watch the original Avatar in theaters when, when it first came out, and I, I loved the Avatar movie. Some people were complaining that, you know, it's like Dances with the Wolves, Fern Gully, Pocahontas. You know, you could say there's some similarities between this and other movies, but what movie today does not have similarities with other movies? Honestly, it's a lot of uh, Marvel fanboys who make this complaint because they think or they're threatened that this Avatar movie is having success compa compared to their, um, you know, like Infinity Wars or Endgame or whatnot. But this is where you have to give uh, James Cameron credit for. He made this story out of nothing, and he came up with one movie that just blew box office numbers to shreds. Whereas with, you know, Endgame, how many movies did it take to reach that point? So the point here is James Cameron did it with one movie, whereas Marvel took like almost 20 movies to do it to achieve their success. And they already had an established lore to, to build upon. But um, I digress. Uh, let me just give you my thoughts on The Way of the Water. So I, I, did, I did love the first movie. I thought it was very immersive. I loved the soundtrack. And honestly, pretty much what I liked about the first movie is exactly what I liked about the second movie. I loved the Im the immersion experience watching Avatar 2. It just took you, I mean, it took you back to Pandora, but it took you to a completely different part of Pandora. And as you know, it's called the way of the water. So it, it, you, you kind of gather where it takes you to, and it's beautiful. It it takes you to a whole new world. It immerses you like, like very few movies today can immerse you. You know, it puts you in this different planet or on this different world and you just kind of want to live there, or at least you feel like you're living there when you're watching this movie. Um, so the soundtrack was amazing too. It had some, you know, homages to the first movie. And then there were some, you know, a lot of original um, tracks, um, you know, based on this new movie. But this movie was not without its flaws, just like the first movie. The first movie had flaws and the second movie had its flaws. The second movie for me, it was three hours long, and honestly, it felt like it was three hours long. <laughs> it was a really long movie. Um, but um, a little backstory, me and my group, we walked three miles on the side of the road to watch this movie because I'm not, I'm not home. So we didn't have a car, so we just walked three miles there. So we were kind of tired already when we got to the theater, and that's why... This three hours might have felt longer to me. I, I'm not sure. Um, I, I felt like, you know, upon one viewing, I felt like the first movie moved a little bit better. But I, I definitely need to watch this movie a few more times <clears throat> in order to form that opinion properly. <clears throat> also, a lot of the story, it, it, it didn't move as smoothly as it could have. Some parts seemed a little bit choppy. Like, I, there were some loose ends, I felt like, with the story. But again, the reason why people like Avatar is the immersion, you know, getting transported to this whole new planet, Pandora. And that's really where the strength of this movie is, is the immersion. So storytelling, there are weaknesses, but everything is made up for with the immersive experience. Um, i trying to think what else to say. Uh, I, I, I love this movie. So I watched it once. When I get back to Orlando, I'm going to watch it two or three more times. I definitely want to watch it in 3D. I think that's the way it was meant to be watched, I think. And I, I, I do want to watch it in IMAX. You know, the uh, like the real IMAX. We have one real IMAX theater in Orlando, and that is in Port Orlando. The reason why I say it's real is because the screen is huge. Every other theater in Orlando that pretends to have IMAX, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure they do, but they are tiny screens. I don't know how you can have a real IMAX experience with tiny screens. That's why I go to Point Orlando for my IMAX experience. Uh, okay, I, I think that's all I want to say about this movie without giving you guys any spoilers. It was a great movie. It definitely had, it, had its weaknesses. 
And when I come back to Orlando, I definitely want to go back to um, Animal Kingdom so I can revisit Pandora and uh, eat at Satuli's and stuff.